I don't know about you all, but when I first started thinking about this full-time living in a car nomad life, the thoughts of how I would keep all of my different things powered was just overwhelming. Inverters, batteries, solar, lithium, regular batteries, house batteries. I had no clue. Went on Facebook, went on YouTube, started doing a lot of research. I still had no clue. Well, I'm happy to say after almost a year now, I think I got it down. Laptop, iPad, iPhone, my um, Kindle, my coffee pot, all of it. Going to show you today my power structure 101, nothing fancy, easy to understand, and how I keep it all going. I hope you'll stay tuned. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life, with today's Short and Sweet Saturday. And short and sweet I hope it's going to be because that's about all I know about power. I am going to introduce you to the three main items that I carry with me, actually four, to power up my laptop, my iPad, my iPhone, my Kindle, coffee pot, 7-in-1 emergency tool, my little ambiance light, and my fan. So with no further ado, let's get started. The first thing I bought when I went into car life full time was this awesome, awesome battery bank. It is an anchor and it has two USB ports as you can see, an input and an output there. And what I do is I carry this with me to power up my um, iPhone. I can use it with my iPad and also with my Kindle. Anything with a USB, I use this. I can charge my iPhone about six to eight times with this. And this is around $50. And before uh, we go much further, all of these different cool items are in the links in my description. And I am an Amazon affiliate, as I've shared with you many times before. I thank Amazon for their support of allowing us to share and introduce products to people. And they give us a little kickback, which is something you can do also. And any of you who have used my links in the past or are in the future, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really, really appreciate it. All of the uh, sense adds up and I'm excited to share with you. So first off is the anchor battery bank. Very, very simple to use. And secondly, I got an inverter. Why an inverter? Well, when I'm traveling for six, eight hours at a time, going to all my different, all the different national parks and places that I've visited, different states, I plug this into my cigarette lighter. And there is two AC outlets there, so I can charge up my Jackery um, battery bank which I'm going to show you here in a second and there's also two USBs so I can use the power from my car battery and this is called an inverter so very very simple I've even charged up my laptop as I was going down the road and my Jackery and even I charge up uh, the battery bank uh, plugging in using one of the USBs and then plugging with the other with the input in for the um, yeah, for this battery bank. So an inverter and a battery bank. Those are the two things right out of the gate. This is a 300 watt. It's a Best Tech uh, power inverter. Comes with a little description. And I am going to tell you that anything that I mention, you can actually, you know, put in the um, search for Best Tech 300 watt inverter, and it'll give you all the information and more that you'll ever need, more than I could ever be able to share with you. So I appreciate um, your questions, but more than what I'm giving you now, I probably am not going to be able to answer the questions. So if I don't answer them, you're going to know I just don't know. This is just simple 
plug into my um, cigarette lighter in my car and away I go to charge my items. Now, the next thing that I am just so excited about and love this company, this is a Jackery. This is an all-in-one um, plug and play. They call it a plug and play. I watched three, four videos on it. Guys who specifically knew from A to Z how to talk about this and how to show you exactly what it is. I have the little booklet here and I'm going to read from it that it has, the ports are a 1 DC, uh, which is a 12 volt to a 30 volt, uh, two USB ports for output right here, you can see, and then there's an AC output, which is 110 volt or 200 watt, and one DC car outlet, uh, which is right up here, and it is a 13.3 volt or a 10 amp, 10 amp. This is a lithium ion, and the pa pack capacity is 240 watt hours, and the life cycle says 500, and there's temperature control, surge protection, short circuit protection. Now, it weighs six pounds. I really like how lightweight it is. And after researching lithium batteries and, and house batteries, I, I just got more confused. So I decided to just what I call bite the bullet, get this 240 watt. Um, I believe it was something like 199. And I just feel so secure with this. I've shared with you before that I carry this into the library. I've even plugged it in at uh, pavilions, at parks that have electricity. Uh, plug it in at McDonald's. Um, and I power it up. So this will keep everything going for me. And there's also the coolest thing that I love next to the weight of this is there's a display and it'll tell you the input. It's 100% 100, uh, 100 filled right now. And then the output, I can either charge it, you know, I can fill it back up by uh, plugging, plugging the cord in, which is right here. And again, I know that I'm talking very, very layman. I can plug it in here, and then I can plug this into, yeah, using my um, inverter. Okay, and then I also, I use the plug, which I, oh, it, it's right here, I'm sorry. I'm confusing things. No, this is the plug. This would go in here, and then this is a little um, gadget that you can, yeah, plug into also and wait a minute wait a minute ah i'm messing up here see i told you this is the input and then this will go into the cigarette lighter yes <laughs> i had that backwards i often reverse a lot of these things so that's what's made it hard for me and then if i want to plug more than one thing in i can plug this in and then I can also plug this in at the library. So this is really, really cool for the input and the output. All right. And then here, I love this guy. I'm sitting down here, so it's a little difficult because I'm trying to avoid the, the bright sun that's coming out. This is the Jockery. This is a freestanding, and it has the little, it's a 50-watt solar charger. And it has the, this guy here that plugs into, where's my cord at, did I just drop it, yes I did, sorry about that, I plug these two guys in, of course red with red, black with black, <laughs> yeah, just like charging a car, and then I will plug this into the Jackery, and this will charge up my you know, I can put this out in the sun. I set this up. It's a standalone. Unless it's real windy, I'll put a rock or something behind it. And it's going to power up my Jackery. Keeping this full all the time for my laptop and for uh, my iPad, which I basically use the most, or my phone. All right, so those are actually the the items that I purchased when I first got started feel very secure about this. This was a gift from my son. Yay, son! Thank you. So if you've watched my other videos, I call myself a cool grandma because of my solar. Who would have thunk that we'd been able to do this lifestyle and power up all of our different gadgets and devices with solar. Yay! This is another 
Uh, the 7 and one has a crank USB along the side here. Hard to get open. Ah, there we are. Has the USB port and you can crank this. So this is an emergency and I've shared with you this before. It's a window breaker um, right here and a seatbelt cutter, but I can power this up also with um, a hand crank if I lose all power. So I love that. This was another gift from my son. Um, people have been asking me, and I'm not going to do a full blown because there's no full blown to do. How do you stay cool? How do you stay? How do you stay warm? You know, warmth is just layers of clothing, and it's the wool socks. And I've never gone below about 38 degrees, and I don't plan to go below 38. Worst case scenario, I've had four or five layers of clothing on and a wool blanket. So the wool blanket is also in the description. But here's my little fan, and I just. Um, upgraded to or not upgraded but got an additional fan that's a little bit bigger than this it's a 10 inch also so um, I have two fans this is an O2 cool I love this guy and he's battery charged so yay for batteries right I'm gonna turn this switch off okay then here is the coffee 12 volt that I use so there's no charging with this unless I have my um, car turned on and this is goes into the cigarette lighter so I hope that gives you an idea of how I can use to charge my phone on the go the inverter when I'm driving to either charge up my laptop uh, to charge up the Jackery at the same time and uh, this would be in the or if I'm just doing the Jackery, it has all the different cords that you can plug it right into your cigarette lighter. Or, you know, this is the input and then you would use the wall outlet. Like if I'm at the library, I can charge this up. And when I'm with no power, then I've got 100% in here. And if, say today it's raining, I want to go indoors, I can, um, and I don't have any uh, electrical outlets. I've got a hundred watt in here. I can plug in my laptop and it'll last me for a couple hours. So that's pretty cool that uh, this, I always try to keep this full. When I first started out, my son and I were debating, do I need the inverter as well as this? Well, I like to have this as my initial backup to power and keep things uh, powered up. And then I use this when I go into the library or on a, a day when I'm not going to turn the car on, I'll have my Jackery. So I find need for both. I think this was $39.99. I think this was around $49.99. And then again, I told you this was about $199. So that's it, guys, for the Power 101. I hope you got some good tips uh, and uh, things to think about here. Um, I had thought about mounting solar and I just want to be as stealth as possible and I'm, I'm in a car so it's way different than if you're in an RV or a van and you have more space. This is definitely a space saver. I keep it alongside the passenger seat right in the front, front seat on the floor and so when I'm out traveling I just grab this and I plug her in and keep her full at all times so that those gray days come in I'll know that I have power. So I hope that this has made sense to you and I've also been very transparent to show you that I get confused with these cords, you know, the, uh, what plugs, you know, plugs, if I, I can plug this in and then I can plug it into the cigarette lighter or I can plug this into the, this. If I'm charging two things, I can use this. And, and uh, so that's how that kind of got in a circle there for me is whether I'm charging up one thing or two things when I'm on the road. I hope this makes some sense to you. And yes, that's, that's everything that I have in the way of power that I can think of that I, uh, that, I go with on my journey here in Serenity Sedan. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, click the bell. This is a short and sweet Saturday and there's more to come on hygiene and clothing and I even did a little one on my makeup. So it's a five week series. Guys, uh, blessings in your day and joy in the journey. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.